guys. Welcome into the show. Man, thank you so much for being with us. We're going to do a crawfish boil for you today. It's going to be so good. We're going to make our own spice. We're going to add some cool things to the crawfish. Man, it's going to be a good dish, so I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to get busy over here in the kitchen. This is Cooking Today. Hey guys, welcome into the show. Man, thank you so much for being with us. It is gonna be a good day today. We are gonna do a crawfish boil for you. It's gonna be a good one. I wanted to get you guys to know these bad boys are in season right now. They are, there's a lot of them around and they're gonna last a little bit longer than the normal season. Down in Louisiana, it's been real wet, a lot of rain, and so it is perfect conditions for these guys, and they are beautiful, and we're purging them right now. I've got them in this bucket so they can get purged. The key to this is to add some water to them. Get them in a bucket like this or whatever you're going to use. Get some water on them. Let, them. let the water sit and soak on them for a little while. Drain it. <clears throat> You want to do that two or three times just to get rid of all the dirt. I mean, they're mud bugs. That's what we call them down south. And they get a lot of extra little mud all up and along in their body right here. And so you want to make sure you get them nice and purged from all of that dirt. And you also want to make sure that they come back to life on you as well. Uh, you, you want all of them moving around inside your bucket. And they've been in the fridge for a while. So there, it's taken them just a little while to get themselves awake again and, and woken up and purged out. So we're just going to let them go, okay, and just shake them around because we'll pick out the ones that don't move for us, okay. But we're going to get started right now with the rest of our dish. We have a lot of things we're going to put inside the crawfish boil. And the first thing that we have to do is put in some spices just to make it good. We're going to use a couple ounces of dried mustard. This is allspice, a couple of ounces as well. I'm going to use a couple of ounces or tablespoons of chili powder. We're going to add some good spice by adding some cayenne, about the same amount. A couple of good heaping tablespoons. We're also going to add a little bit of Italian seasoning to it going to really give it a little bit different flavor. Some granulated garlic. And you can smell the heat already. And what we're doing basically is making our own boil mix. And you can buy the mix at the grocery store. But we're, we, we want to make our own for you. And then a little bit of paprika, just Spanish paprika, give it that color that we want. And also to that, I'm going to add a couple bay leaves right inside. And you can see the water is good and boiling. Man, we're rocking and rolling. We're going to do a little bit of prep. We have our, the longest thing that's going to take us to cook in the boil. We need to get in there right now. And it is our corn. And this is just raw corn, fresh. It's already shucked. You can buy it in the grocery store just like this. We want some extras inside the boil. So you get, to, you get the boil laid out on the table and get everybody eating. You know, there's more than just crawfish in there. Ooh, you get a crawfish. Hey, is that a shrimp? Ooh, a potato. Mmm, some sausage. So we want to we wanna make sure we get a lot of good ingredients in there. And we'll, we'll get our corn right down in the boil right away because it's going to take it the longest. And I just want to break these down so that they're bite size little bits, okay? And we'll get all four of them broken down. Just, a, just cut it three times. Get it right inside. 
Anything you do to cool your water off, you want to make sure that you let it get, come right back up to a boil. Try not to hurt myself. Okay, and get those right in. And next, the other thing that's going to take us the longest cook time are going to be our potatoes. And you can use red bliss potatoes if you want, the B-size potato. We are using li these little goldies. The golden potatoes just have such good flavor for me. They are so good. And they're small enough, man, you can leave them whole just like this. And they can go right into your bowl and you not have to worry about cutting them at all. So we're going to put these babies right in because it'll take them about the same time to soften up and be ready to eat as the corn. So they're going to go right into our mix. And then I'm going to grab the salt. We need to add some salt to this water. Okay, so we'll really love on it with our salt. just to give it that flavor, season it up real good, just like that. And then I'm actually going to hit it with a hint or two of black pepper. That's great. Okay, we also have some U10 shrimp. These are the big boys right here, you guys. And they, they make such a good part of this dish. They're going to be real, real good. I'm going to get these cleaned up because I don't want you to have to worry about the shell when you start eating your crawfish boil. So guys, when we come back, we're going to get our shrimp inside the crawfish boil. We'll get our sausage done. Man, we'll get our crawfish in there too. Stick around. This is cooking today. So you don't have to really heat it up to make, I mean, to make a good crawfish boil doesn't have to be tongue burning, but you gotta have a little bit of spice to it. We're gonna use a little cayenne in our spice mix just to give it a little bit of flavor. Guys, welcome back. Our crawfish boil is going on. Man, it smells so good in the kitchen right now. Uh, it's just beautiful thing. Our pot is rolling here. The, the flavors, the seasoning, the spices that we have going on are just gonna work very, very well. And we're gonna add a few more ingredients to it. When we went to break earlier, I was showing you those, those U10 shrimp, and I went ahead and peeled them, okay? That way, it would be a lot easier to work with when you got ready to boil. It's not an, another thing you wouldn't have to peel. I mean, it, it's a crawfish, so you're gonna have to work on it a little bit. This just gives you an extra little something that you can eat that is ready to go. And we're gonna save those for the last, because you know, the shrimp are mostly water. It doesn't take very long for them to cook. We're gonna get our sausage cut up and you can use whatever you like. This is a hot sausage or a spicy, uh, a spicy sausage that we're using here. And we just wanna get it cut down into portions that are easily eaten right off the boil, okay? And just get those right into the water. And I like to cut them on a bias like this so that it has a little bit different look to it. Looks pretty cool. Just shows that you worked a little bit. Okay, and get that right into the boil. We'll finish it up right here with this last one. Always protect your fingers when you're using your knife, guys. Okay, just like that. We're going to get this right into the boil. So good. It smells so good, man. Oh my goodness. Okay. And now I'm going to I'm going to walk over and show you guys our crawfish. And I want you to see that these guys are all moving around real good. I've gone through and picked out a bunch of good ones. Guys, you don't want them to be dead, okay? You want to treat it like a lobster. You want to make sure that all your crawfish are moving, they're pinching, they're kicking. Um, and that they're ready to eat. Any of the dead ones, you just don't know uh, what's going on with those. So if they're not moving, don't use them. I mean, I'll say, I'll say that again. If they do not move after you've purged them for quite a while, then you just go ahead and throw it away. And, and, and what I'll do is I'll just take the master bucket here and just kind of roll it around 
and just start picking them out and see what you know just just get that bucket moving shake it up you and always use a pair of tongs don't just stick your hand in there because you'll get gotten I mean look at those pinchers right there those things will get you uh, I mean you'll be in pain I'm telling you, you ever been to the creek and, and and got these bad boys they will hurt you I'm telling you so just just look through your master bucket and make sure you find the ones that are moving okay and you can just move it around and you'll see the legs start to move if the legs are moving it's a good viable crawfish okay and it'll take a little while for the rest of them to purge some of them takes a little bit longer than others to wake up that's for sure and they were on ice all night and I suggest that you make sure that they stay on ice uh, uh, the entire time you have them until you're ready to go with them into the boil okay but they look great I mean these guys here are gonna be awesome okay and we're gonna go ahead and get our shrimp right in our bowl right now right before our crawfish go in we'll get our shrimp in and man it'll take a second for that to come back up to temperature let me grab a wooden spoon here look at this those potatoes oh man the corn we got shrimp in there now sausage our bowl is just about to the point that we're ready to add our crawfish to it okay we're gonna we're gonna add one more vital ingredient to give us just a little bit of flavor and that's gonna be a dark beer okay we'll do let's get this guy opened up I'm gonna get it right into our mix just like that and I'm adding this at the last minute just so I can ha so I don't cook all the flavor out of it I want to make sure that this dark beer that smell stays right in there you know you you can't not drink beer during a crawfish boil so you gotta ha have a little bit to cook too a little bit for the cook a little bit to cook with so we got a little bit of beer right into our mix okay and when we come back you guys we're gonna start adding our crawfish to our boil and and we're gonna come it's all gonna come together we'll show you what it turns out like this is cooking today up next we'll add our crawfish So a crawfish boil is really about family and friends gathered around the table. Lay out a little paper, man, and lay your boil mix out on the paper. It's good. You just got to give them some little extras, some little corn niblets, some little golden potatoes, some good hot sausage. It adds to the boil and just makes it a much better event. Okay, guys, welcome back. And I've been going through my crawfish here just to make sure I got all of them out of there and I mean it takes a little while for them to come back to temperature and just be ready to to move around you can see this guy I mean he's been in there I was thinking he wasn't gonna make it but you see he's starting to wake up and there's quite a few more in here that will after a while wake up for us and be be good crawfish for eating you just I mean you just have to really get some more water on them. And you can see I mean they'll they'll keep on moving man I'm telling you when you're doing this please use if you don't have a pair of gloves that you can use that they won't be able to get into use tongs because you'll you'll end up pinched several times it's terrible when you got four crawfish hanging off of four of your digits on one hand that is a pain that you just don't want to deal with uh, so we just want to make sure we keep them moving around and all these I will I will make sure that I go through them and use them for soup if I have to. I mean, look at this guy, and he's alive, and he's moving just barely, but he is moving, okay? And look at those pinchers right there. That's a good one, okay? And we'll use him. But all the rest of these, we'll, we'll hang on to. We'll let them come up to temperature, 
and I'll have a good boil to finish up a good boil later. But all these guys here are ready to go. They are moving around for us. And look at here. They are so good. They're going to be so good. They are available right now, you guys. And you can find them at several different places around town. But they are good to go. And all of these are moving. Now, I know they're alive. I went through them one by one. Again, it's really important that you make sure that they're living. Okay, it's very, very important. Treat it just like lobster, okay? And I'm gonna make them mad because it's time for them to go in. You ready? Right into the boil. Right in there. You wanna make sure you get them submerged real good. We're gonna start moving them around as well. Okay, as soon as we get them in. You gotta go too, buddy, I'm sorry. Okay. Everybody's got to go into the pool. Okay. Now, if you're using a big, like, if you're using, like, an outdoor turkey cooker with a propane tank attached to it, and you've got a big, giant pot, you can get a whole lot of crawfish in there. Man, at least 30 pounds of crawfish, along with all the rest of your ingredients that you're using for the boil. And we're just using a pot on the stove here. I mean, you know, I don't have a huge party of folks to feed. Just us, just the guys in the studio here that I love so much. But we're going to have a good time with this. They're going to be so good. And you can see our shrimp are good and cooked. They look great. Our potatoes, let's see if I can get a potato out of there. See how they feel. Our potatoes have been boiling for quite a while. They're good and soft. You can see there, I can break it open real easy. That's beautiful. Smells so good. And the crawfish don't take very long at all. Just a few minutes. They're just like shrimp. It just takes them a few minutes. We want to make sure we get this come, to come back to a boil. Make sure that all the crawfish get good and submerged and that they're all cooked and ready to eat. Dynamite. Okay, and now while we're finishing up there, I'm gonna take and get ready to serve these guys. Show you what it looks like here. What we do, we'll take just your average newspaper we want to just lay a sum out here on the table. It's a, it's a gathering. It's about friends and family getting together, not a formal sit-down dinner type of thing. A crawfish bowl is just always about, you know, everybody standing around the table, drinking a good cold beer, and enjoying good company with friends. So, we always lay out some newspaper on our table, and that's what we put our crawfish on. We put our whole boil right there on that paper, okay? Now I'm gonna check on our boil real quick. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I think we're ready to go here. What I'll do, I'm gonna break out my strainer. go right to the sink. Okay, I have the small one too, which may work. What we can do is this. Look at there. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look. Beautiful. Lay it all out on the paper. And there's good eating. Mm-mm-mm. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, baby. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoy the crawfish boil. This is cooking today.
Thank you guys so much for being with us. Man, it's been a great show. I enjoyed doing cool dishes for you. We did a mighty fine crawfish boil, just a family friendly time. Man, you add some love into it, add some corn and some potatoes and some shrimp and some sausage, just some other niblets, mm, some good love. What, what a great dish. You guys, join us again next time. We're gonna do some cool recipes for you. I got some neat things we're gonna show you, some cool tricks as well. I'm Stephen Brooks, and that's Cooking Today. Cooking Today, sponsored by Tyson Foods, proud makers of Tyson fresh and frozen chicken products and toned seasonings. We make the meal. Grill provided by Sam's Club. Life is better in the club. Appliances provided by Metro Appliances and more. Cookware and serveware provided by World Kitchen and NWA Restaurant Supply. Food provided by Tankersley Food Service. Produce provided by Kimball and Thompson Produce Company.